Uh, I have one topic, but it kind of leads me to another one. But we'll start where I want to start, which is ratings came out because it's All-Star Weekend. So they do like media check-ins, all this stuff. Ratings came out for local networks. And surprise, surprise, guess who had the biggest drop-off in local viewership? Any guesses? Too late. Trailblazers and yeah. Root Sports had a 60% drop-off in local viewership. Mainstream media, maybe some haters will say, oh, it's because Dame left and now the fans are fake and all this stuff. If you live in the Portland area, you know that you no longer have Root Sports if you don't have the premium subscription to Xfinity. So that's the only way to get Root Sports oh. if you have the premium subscription to Xfinity or maybe if you have Fubo TV, which no one has Fubo TV. What's <laughs> Fubo TV? Um, and that kind of leads me into the discussion of where does... Nerd. Where does <laughs> what do you have Fubo TV? Is that where <laughs> no one has Fubo TV? No one has Fubo TV. It sucks. There's a lot of people with Fubo TV, but it's no all way. Right. It's all right. I, I, I have never met one human. Anyways, um, that leads me to the discussion of like streaming, sports streaming, um, where that avenue is leading. Where individual. Let's be honest. We all have. We all have a link. We you all we all have leak pass. Let me say that. Oh. <laughs> leak yeah, pass. yeah, leak pass. Leak pass. Uh, quote unquote, we have leak pass. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I kind of wanted to get around Robin discussion here. I know, for example, like ESPN, Fox Sports, and uh, Warner Bros are combining to make like a, a sports streaming um, conglomerate. Wow. So ESPN, Fox Sports, all that is all going to be together that to include be- like NBA, NFL, especially because of fo- college football. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so like Thanos just came through. Bro. Yeah, pretty much. They're, they're, oh, yeah, shit. they're actually being sued by Fubo TV for antitrust. Um, oh, like, a, there's an antitrust lawsuit because they're saying they're creating a monopoly on like sports streaming in that world. Oh yeah, they but are. yeah, I find it interesting where people complained about cable for so many years, and now it's honestly worse because now to have everything, it's all separate. Like payments, it's they every couple months. I don't know about you guys, but like. My ESPN has gone up like four dollars last uh, four months or like like the last quarter. Like it just keeps going up. Um, I know what I'm hoping happens, especially for local networks, like what the Utah Jazz is doing. With the Utah Jazz now is a direct consumer streaming option where you pay almost like a league pass, but a lot cheaper because it's just one team. But you pay you know, something like sixty dollars for a year and you get all the Jazz games. And I'm like, oh my god! Like if they did that for the Blazers, that'd be amazing. Or like in New York, they're doing yes. Network and MSG network is combining. So all Yankees, Mets, Knicks, Nets is combining into one package. I think that's the future, but I like your guys' opinion. But you got to think about places that really don't have teams like that. Mm-hmm. They're going to fall short. So like your San Diego or your San Diego, your South Dakotas, North Dakotas, yep. Washington, they only got Seattle and, and – um, they have all the sports. They have everything. Oh, yeah, they had Kraken, too. I just thought about it. Yeah. Kraken, Seahawks, Mariners. Mariners. The Storm. 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 There should be, like, a Northwest package where you get, like, or Oregon, Washington, Boise, Montana. Like, if you want that college basketball or football, whatever. Yeah. yeah. That'd be interesting. But yeah. I don't know. Just, right just, like, being here and even not being a Trailblazers fan per se, you know, mm-hmm. I like watching basketball. They put way there are too many barriers to watching the Blazers game. It's really hard, especially if you're not going there in person. Like mm-hmm. I got, I got YouTube TV and the games get blacked out because yeah. I don't have Fubu Sports is uh, Root Sports, Root Sports, yeah. Um, which is annoying because you know even though Dame isn't here, it doesn't mean I don't want to check out and see how School Henderson's doing. Exactly. Um, I have Root Sports and not until this season. This season they finally implemented like an app where you can watch it on an app. Until now, what? you had to sit down and watch on the TV. Wow. So this is the first season where I can actually like if I'm out and about, I can like check on the Blazer game live. Yeah. But to your larger point, though, it is starting to uh, become very burdensome, like having all these different streaming platforms I have to subscribe to. And even with, I know we all probably have done this, where, you know, you got a shorty or somebody in your family was paying for the Netflix. I got the HBO. We just swapped passwords. They're starting to. They're cracking down. Cracking down on that. ESPN's cracking down on that now. Yeah. Netflix started it. Yeah, Netflix started. Hulu, I think, is supposed to do it next month. Mm. Yeah, I think we talked about it a couple months when it happened on this show. <laughs> <laughs> And the backlash they were getting, and they said, fuck the backlash. Yeah. And now everyone is oh, doing Netflix. it. We were talking about Netflix. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about Netflix. I just canceled my membership. I said, fuck y'all. Dude, it's like 20 bucks now for Netflix. 22 uh, I remember, Bro, I remember when it was $5. I remember when I got DVDs. 
Bro. <laughs> Damn. Man, my heart just hurt. Man, my Robin days might be over. No, we're all going to be paying more than we ever have, and we're going to be happy about it. <laughs> no, but I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, when you when you look at media as a whole, it's really controlled by like two companies. At the end of the day, and it's yeah, absolutely, Viacom and uh, what's the other Xfinity? One? That's that's Viacom. Oh, it's it. Disney. oh, and Disney, Disney. Disney's well, Viacom. actually, Disney is owned by or Viacom owns Disney. Um, can you look up? Can you look up the two media superpowers? There's only two. They're like Viacom owns like all of them. Oh. Disney is under that. ESPN is under that. Um, Interesting. Uh, a lot of the sports stations are under that. Um, it's really it's like and it's it's super crazy because uh, it all goes back to one spot and that's Viacom. That's Viacom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, the uh the thing that really comes up for me when it when it's this where. How do we, I don't say go back to the past, but I did enjoy being able to just get on cable TV to just watch a Blazers game or a Mariners game. Just or like if there was a good show, you just throw it on. You'd be like, oh, 8 p.m., got to watch, you know, this show. Cause now family. I have to go through, sign a subscription, remember to cancel the subscription when the show ends. That's why more streaming networks want sports, because if they have sports, you won't cancel. Because sports is, you know... Nine months out of the year, that show, you'll yeah. run through it in, like, a couple weeks. Yeah. I think it's just hard now to get back to that model because, like, the way we consume media is just shifted so drastically. Like, I remember growing up, um, whether it be, like, Martin or some, you know, we had these cable sitcoms where I knew every Thursday night, you know, me and my mom or, you know, whomever might sit down, like, oh, 7.30, Martin about to come on. Mm. Now I catch that when I catch it. Yeah. And I can stop, pause, let's go run and grab something to eat, come back. Let's play. Um, so for Business Insider, there's um, Disney separate from Viacom. Mm-hmm. Um, so those, those are the two big ones. Um, and then there's so it's Disney and Viacom. Disney separate. And Viacom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Not Viacom and Disney. Sports was basically owned by News. Um, GE, which is kind of surprising, they own Comcast. General Electric owns Comcast? G-E-Z? GE. GE, General Electric. General Electric. Yeah, oh, crazy. Yeah. yeah, interesting. I didn't know uh, they own Comcast. Time Warner, and then CBS. Uh, Time Warner, Time yeah. Warner was the one I I was thinking of. Wait, what? Wait, so who does Time Warner? Vi- Viacom is Xfinity and Comcast, right? It doesn't look like it. It's it's separate. Comcast is a exclusive under GE. Interesting. Mm. Okay. Mm. GE owns Comcast, NBC, Universal. Who does Viacom own? Uh, Viacom, NBC, B- Nick Jr., uh, BT. That's the sk- okay. Okay. So, Interesting. Okay. Thank oh, you. So. Thank you, Fact Dragon. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Fact that's Dragon. Okay. Um, I thought it was the part that I just oh, want to just bring on. back to is just I really kind of miss that. You gotta watch G Gundam seven Wednesday. You can't miss it, or you gotta wait another month. In I'll just say I do like YouTube TV. I'm not, you know, I'm transitioning to be a Blazers fan, so I don't mind the blacked out squares. You know, we got to work on some things. But I definitely think that that's a change where, you know, I I love the accessibility of TV and how we're consuming it. But once again, this kind of gets into, we're getting going into like the uh, whole like, how could we be better conspiracy theory? This takes me back to, y'all remember Wally? Yeah. And that yeah. portion of like our, we got everything. There's like going to be a chair and just boom. It's just, we're just glued to yep. this one thing and one or one to three things is going to like, you know, and I guess I'll end it for me at least and just say this where it takes a, it's something special when you can sit down at the dinner table with people and just take in dinner and like how that is. It's gone away. It has right, gone man. away. I'll say if if you're listening and you want, you know, you feel the same way you want to experience that. Mm. I feel like the only way now is like to go to a bar or like a specific place, a restaurant that shows that stuff. Like if you go to like a Buffalo Wild Wings, you can have a shared experience with other people if you're watching like a game yeah. or something like that. That would, De- that would be the only thing. Dead ass. I was at a club with 
Chadi and, and her friends, right? And that's how I got the um, dunk contest. It was just drinks right. Right. and the mm-hmm. and the game. Yeah. I was like, on the same note, let me ask y'all this: uh, What's y'all preference as far as like? show releases do you prefer like the netflix format where you get everything all at once you can kind of binge watch stuff or hbo where they release it incrementally week by week still incrementally it makes me cherish the show more yeah i think i prefer week but there are versions where it's bursts so it'll be like three episodes at a time i think hulu does that i think maybe apple tv does that. amazon prime does that. yeah i think i like that the most where i can like do a quick two episode three episode binge and then i get another week I definitely agree with that the Amazon Prime method. It cuz it cuz especially if you like it and you start binging then you you crave like yo 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 y'all need to hurry up and drop these episodes. You're like, "Oh, it takes like a year and a half to make this show." <laughs> yeah, right? And so then now it's like, "Okay, if I like the show and I watch the whole thing, now I have to wait a year and a half or two years exactly. for the second season instead of just being able to hold on." I think I used to prefer the Netflix binge method or even like closer to Amazon. Now I think getting into more HBO and star shows, I do prefer like the week by week mm-hmm. rollout just cause it shortens the gap between seasons for me. Because mm-hmm. if I've been watching this show for three months as opposed or two months, as opposed to getting it all done in three days because we had a snow day or something like that. Now I have a whole, like you said, a whole year until this next season might drop mm-hmm. and you no, know, God forbid I'm not like a, fan of power and we can get the net spinoff show a month later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that shit is crazy. My, my thing that annoys me the most is just like how, how much content there is and then people are like oh yeah. did you watch this did you watch Succession oh Succession just ended did you watch I didn't even see one episode apparently it's the <laughs> greatest show ever and bastard. I never watched it like stuff like that like uh, it's just too much now and I, you can't keep up and I'm exhausted from it so I just put on YouTube Real. that's what I do Real. I just watch YouTube y'all seen Love on the Spectrum yeah <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I, feel like, yeah. bro, I, I, I was kind of skeptical when somebody told me about it because I don't really be watching love shows like that. I saw two episodes. Like, I root for all those people. I really hope they win. I'm telling you, man, dating naked, you'd love it. Pause. All right. <laughs> we. <laughs> anywho, to, to 